pictures. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small that makes you doubt. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The armor. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Ready or not, here we come. I heard him. He ran into the hallway. You check the kitchen, Nolik, and I'll check the living room. inside of that shark. Yeah? Then in that huge vase. Uh-huh. He's all scrunched up in there and laughing at us. <laughs> oh! Simka! There! Did you hear that? He is in there! There's no one, but I know that I heard a hee-hee. You imagined it. Let's go take a look in the bathroom. <laughs> I imagined it. <sighs> it's so stuffy inside this armor. <laughs> the arms got stuck. Where else could he be? <gasps> Who is that? Ah! Sick of the knife, he came to life. Well, how much longer are you gonna look for me? Arbor is very hard clothing worn by warriors to protect them against swords and arrows. People started making armor in ancient times, but the full body armor that knights wore didn't start until the Middle Ages. The armor worn by knights on horses was heavy. It could weigh a hundred pounds, and if a knight got knocked off of his horse, he'd need help to get back up again. By the way, the knight's horses, they wore their own heavy set of armor for protection. Hey, did you turn into statues? Tom Thomas? Is that you in there? Who else? Lift up this visor, I can barely breathe. <laughs> and how come we should do it? Cause I can't, don't you see? My arms got stuck. We see? <laughs> you look funny. Funny to you, but now I'm stuck and I can't get out of here. Come on, help me out, please. <laughs> Chusaka's just what we need right now. Chusaka, what's wrong with you? It's me. Hey, stop it. <laughs> Help, I can't get up. Come on, let's undo the latches, Nolik, quickly. Thanks for helping me. It was nothing. I couldn't have done it without you. Let's put the night back together. Uh-huh. Before Dad gets back. Protective clothing isn't just for people who are fighting in battles. Travelers put on special nets to protect themselves against mosquitoes and gnats. And beekeepers wear protective clothes, too. If they had nothing to protect them from bee stings, their job would be quite painful. <laughs> Without their protective clothing, it would be impossible for firefighters to go into burning buildings and save people. And how could astronauts go into outer space without special clothing? It's freezing up there and there's no air to breathe at all. And that's why they wear a special costume called a spacesuit when they travel. The spacesuit not only protects astronauts from the cold, but supplies them with air so they can breathe. By the way, the Fixies also wear protective clothing so they can stay safe while they work. Well, there. Did we get it right? It 
looks like we got it right. Only, where's the helmet? Nola went to get it. Tom Thomas! Helmet delivery! <laughs> Thanks there, Chusaka. Whoa there, Warhorse. Calm yourself down. There we go. It's all back in place again. Too bad that your knight <laughs> looks like a ballerina twirling around. You see, his arm. Ugh, I can't move it. It's stuck. Here's what we'll do. Give him something to hold. Well, how's that look? Perfect. Now we can paddle into battle. <laughs> right now. I'm not playing. His feet are gonna get soaked. Tom Thomas, I'm off. Don't be late. <laughs> Chusaka, that's enough. No, I need to go to school. He's got his math class today and he's leaving his math book. I'm trying to serve like a good job, but no one understands me. <laughs> Dogs have been serving people since ancient times, along with cows, horses, chickens, and other domestic animals. But of all of these animals, the dog was the very first. In the beginning, domesticated dogs looked like wolves. Over time, they started changing and were developed into dogs of many different breeds, from big shepherds to tiny chihuahuas. So a dog is not only a human's best friend, but his very first friend as well. What is that smell? Simka, come on out. I see you. <laughs> no, look, jump down. <laughs> oh no, we're trapped in here. Alert, something's burning over there. Why won't they listen? I think she's going to eat us. Together with the box! We're done for. Oh. Come on, look! <gasps> the outlet is sparking! Oh no! Something must have broken in there! Are we going to fix it? Kids should never touch outlets, and you know it too! It's forbidden! Then how do we fix it? Go find Papus, and I'll stay here and wait for you. Uh, but where's Papus? I know where he is. <laughs> I don't know what she's barking about, but I think Chusaka wants to help us. Then come on, Chusaka, help us. Woo! <laughs> he's in there. Papus, Papus. Nola, is that you? Uh -huh. There's an outlet sparking over there, and it smells like it's burning. Are you sure? Yeah, Chusaka found it. Really? Great job! <laughs> there are many kinds of service dogs. Dogs that help people by carrying out a wide variety of different jobs, like protecting a house or a flock of sheep if the dogs are shepherds. Some working dogs help guards protect their borders, while others work for the police. There are sled dogs that transport people and loads in the north, where there's only snow and no roads. Some service dogs help blind people by helping them get to the places they need to go. And there are dogs that save people trapped on mountains. And that's not all. Dogs went up into space before humans. 
But don't think that dogs are just given these jobs. Oh, no. Like humans, dogs study for a long time before they're allowed to take on serious work. <laughs> Ah, that's all. There won't be a fire. Not today. Hooray! Well done, Chusaka. You're a real service dog, no doubt about it. Oh, yeah, I'm working. I'm a real service dog. Oh, Chusaka, go away. I've had enough of you already today. Don't say that, because this working dog just saved your house from burning down. What do you mean? She smelled smoke coming from the outlet. It could be that Chusaka means well and wants to do the right thing, but nobody understands her. That's a bit hard to believe. Then what's this book? Oh, my math book. That's where I left it. Remember how Chusaka wanted to make you take it to school this morning? You're right. Add a girl, Chusaka. Well done. Achoo. <coughs> what a rain. My feet got wet to the bone. But this morning, Chusaka tried to get you to wear a different pair of shoes. Hmm, that's something. I should listen more closely to this smart little dog of ours. Oh, finally, they understand me. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out.